Hey guys, Steve here with Scotch and Things, and today we're going to go over why you should always number your mags, your magazines for your pistol, rifle, whatever else you want to do. I started doing this about, oh, I don't know, a year ago or so. Um, and one, it's not because I'm some, you see lots of guys do it, or people mark their mags in all sorts of different ways. And all you need, you know, to a, any art store, um, Walmart, stuff like that, you need a, a painter's pen. It's just a little paint pen. You can hear it. You shake it up like that. It's got a depressible tip. And <clears throat> all you need to do is, uh, AR mags is a little bit harder. Uh, you know, the some of them, like this Magpul, have the dot matrix for guys that want to uh, identify them. But you just kind of push down as you're writing. And I don't have the best handwriting. And there you go. Uh, some guys run tape around them and then write on them. You can do that however you want with a with an AR mag because the bottom doesn't sit in there, so the tape won't won't get uh, bunched up. But like, you don't want to run tape around a pistol mag because that obviously goes all the way in, and you don't want tape that'll bunch up and won't let you insert it if it gets jammed up like I said I started doing this about a year ago one not because I'm some you know elite tech guy but it's it's smart just so you can identify your stuff you're on a range you're shooting with buddies who have stuff you know mags like you yeah they're the same mag so if you get mixed up it's fine but you know you don't want to have a junk mag or your buddy has a junk mag and get them switched and get one of his good mags and he gets your crappy mag this is just a simple way to keep track of what you have on the range in a class you're dropping stuff uh, I think they most classes prefer you to number and identify your mag some way like I said I've um, put these with the paint pen on here and they do kind of if you if you work on them, it'll scratch off. But just inserting them, you know, I don't find inserting them in the gun has any, has done much wear. It'll scratch in a couple places. And one tip uh, that I want to do when I when I started doing this, I just numbered my 19, or you know, my for my 19, so the 15 rounders and then my 17 rounders. I just went one through whatever. So you see, here's a one. This Glock one is a thir is a 13, but there might be a a 17 round mag in there that look. This is a seven. Uh, I'm going to go through and redo that. I'm going to num number because it gets confusing when you get enough mags. You start to okay, wait, Glock mags are jumping one through 20 say but there might be a 15 round in there or 17 in the mix i'm going to separate it so the so the 19 the mags that go with my 19 or the 15 rounders are all one through whatever and then my 17 rounders or whatever are one through whatever so they're not intermixed that was a mistake on my part i suggest you you number them <coughs> separately you know like these 10 rounders I'm starting to accumulate these for my 26. I'm going to number those. And another great reason why numbering your mags is important. I was shooting in a GSSF match back in October. And I had a malfunction. Never happened with this gun before. Alright. Next stage. It's clear by the way. Next stage. I had another malfunction. Guess what? I had my mags numbered and it was number one uh, so I was able to identify hey that's not the gun this magazine keeps giving me trouble uh, took it over to the armor over there if you don't know GSSF matches are super cool they have an armor on site replace the springs for free so that's other than getting them mixed up or losing them or so you can identify them I think the most important reason to number your magazines is if you have a malfunction. If you're having trouble with a mag, how are you gonna know that it's 
you know, that mag or which mag it is, if these weren't numbered, you know, if there's no numbers on them other than they're two different variations, say these were the same here. Here you go. One and two. All right. How are you going to know that those two are different? And which one gave you trouble especially if you're doing drills you know you're dropping mags inserting mags and all of a sudden you got a pile of mags on the ground they're not numbered which one gave you the issue well that's where that comes in handy i was able to identify hey number one is giving me an issue something is wrong with this magazine and for me that is the biggest reason to mark your magazines to number them one so you can keep track of them two though the most important one I think is if you have an issue or you know what magazine is giving you that issue. That, that way you don't have to reload them, shoot them again and hope that that happens. And luckily, I, you know, like this happened twice in a row with this magazine. Armor said, yep, spring issue, replaced it for free because one and two obviously were the mags that came with this gun originally and the springs were weaker because they'd been shot more. So there you go, guys. That's why I number your, my mags. That's why I think you should number your mags. And that's it. Let me know what you guys think. How do you do, you do it a different way? How do you keep track of your stuff? Um, you, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. And that's it. I'm out. Talk to you guys later.